Hello everyone, welcome to Chirag SQL Server Debut Tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn Configure and Domain Controller Active Directory for the SQL Server always on Availability Groups. So begin with the uh, this tutorial, we require the following servers. So we need the three th servers for the all the uh, completing the tutorial. So now server one primary node for the SQL Server. <coughs> server two, it's actually a secondary node. And server 3 is we require the server for the configuration domain control and active directory. So later on we will discuss about the node 1 and node 2. Now I am going for the domain control activate uh, active directory server. So this is my server. So let me access the server. So this is my server 1093, 253 and 7. This is my domain controller server active directory. And in this art article, we will explore the following topics. Domain controller, active directory and join servers to a configured domain. And second is the assign static IP all the virtual machine, disable firewall setting and validate and create a cluster. So we should follow the article. Be ready with the power on the machine. All the power ser servers should be power on. In this art, in this article, we are just configuring the domain controller and active directory. So this this domain should be active, and um, means this uh, VM should be on, and we will get a basic knowledge of the domain controller, active directory, and IP configuration. So we should have have. So now I am enable the domain controller, active directory for the virtual machine for the SQL Server average on availability group. Before we enable this feature role, let it go there brief description. So, what is the domain controller? A domain controller is the server or security authentication request from the Windows server domain. So, in an organization, each server is the member of the domain controller. We use the FQDN server name domain to connect with the server. So, what is the, what is the FQDN? So, there is a fully qualified domain name. So, next is DNS. We, we cannot remember the IP address of the all server, for example, we can easily connect with the chirax.in, but if you have its IP address, it is difficult to remember all the IP address. So it is the standard method to associate a name instead of the IP address. So we'll go, go through that. And last is Active Directory. It is the container that consists of the organization units. Uh, for all the users, their credentials group, all the users must authenticate themselves to use a organization resource. So now let me go through the one by one. So I'm just opening the server 1093.253.7. First thing, let me check with the hard disk, whatever the disk is here. So we have a one disk, another disk I need. So disk is already there. Let me configure that disk. So go to the disk management see disk is there 40 gb disk is added there right click on that first click on online initialize this so there is a two options is there master boot record and uh, gpt type so we need the mbr sometime we are getting with the error with the gpt we are get the error with the gpt so i am going with the mbr so just click on ok So I'm giving the path for that uh, before giving the path. Let me change the path for other one. So right click on that. Click on next. Assign the following drive. I'm going to assign the following drive D next. Next is yes. okay. So my drive is 40 GB. Now go there and see this is drive D. Okay. Next. So I'm going to configure the uh, dashboard. So this is my desk. This is my dashboard dashboard for the server manager now click on the add role and features go to the next so this is 
so role based features based authentic uh, based installation go to the next so this is the server name vdi text theory click on next so here in the roles enable the active directory domain services so active directory domain services so click on this and click on add features then next <coughs> we need the dscp uh, server and dns server so this is my dscp server and there is a dns server so click uh, add, add features now click on next next so active directory domain services click on next next dns for that and click on the restart the destination server automatically if required so click on that so here your selection will be there so we selected active directory domain services DS, dscp service and dns service and group policy management so click on install so it will take some time to install that So in this video, we are going to configure the domain controller and active directory. So here we are installing the active directory domain services, DHCP service and DNS service. After that, we will just open the active directory services and we will go through the at a new forest. Let it install, we will go through that. Okay, config, uh, configuration required, installation succeeded on VDI test server 3. So now I'm clicking on close. So now let me configure the Active directory, where is that? Computer part of active directory, move. So for more this server is a domain controllers go to the dashboard dsa.msc let me check there So, where is the option to promote? Okay, there is an option promote the server to the domain controller as a domain controller. 
so click on that so there is your option so now i am going to add a new forest so root domain name i am going to give chiraz.in go to the next okay so here windows server 2016 domain function level windows server 2016 domain name system dns server global catalog gc and now i am going to put the password for dsrm so there is a data directory service mode let me write down the password notepad i'm writing some password so i'm writing this password drm password t s r m okay now uh, we have options to that so go to the next no need to configure there additional options so net bios domain name will appear there automatically so wait for some time so this chirax is there go to the next so this is the database folder path c drive and this is the log folder path and this is the sys volume path so specify location for adds log files and uh, sys volume go to the next so uh, review your selection whatever the selection we did we can review that and all the selection will be there see so click on if you uh, view the script so there is options to view the script go to the next configuration check is going on so prerequisite site check is done so now you can uh, we can ignore this messages this these are the warnings and up uh, now perform we have to perform the reboot after installation and after installation we verify the computer part of the coming with our domain or not so at the point we have a have a vm configure with this domain so let it installation will complete
So in this process, we are just configuring the DNS uh, server service on this computer. So what are the things we did? In the server 3, we required the server to configure the domain name controller active directory. So we are just doing that and that is the IP for that server and we should uh, knowledge about some basic things just like uh, domain control, what is the domain controller, what is the DNS and what is the active directory. So it will take some time to install a sim. After installation, we will go for the uh, setup with a static uh, IP address and we will do that and after that, just we will go to the configure the uh, uh, reverse lookup zone in the DNS for the SQL server, always on groups. So we will do that and at last we will do the create an active directory user and assign the domain uh, admin permission to, for the SQL Server always one. So this is going to the logout. So click on OK. Close. So system is going to reboot. Wait for a few seconds, then we'll go through that. Not started yet. is working okay started so now again I'm log going to log in with the server So there it will configure the group policy, group policy, other things, whatever we change it, group policy, client. So this thing uh, it will configure, it will take some time to configure that. And after come to configuration reboot, we can verify the computer is the part of the our domain. So domain is the chirags.in, so that will show in the dashboard. At the point we have a, only one uh, domain which configure with the chirags.in. And next we will go for the configure for the static IP and DNS server. So let it complete group policy client. So after restart, 
you can verify the computer as a part of the our domain name so go to the local server you will be able to see the domain domain name is the chirax.in so this is the part of the our domain name at this point we have only one vm configure with the domain okay so now we are going to move to the uh, network configuration for static ip and dns server <coughs> for that we need uh, we need the one static ip so already i configure with the ip so later uh, i am going through the ip configuration i am going to check the ip so there is a cmd ip con fig config let me check so this is my ip address and uh, it's a subnet mask and default gateway okay so now i'm going to change that one so go to go to your network sharing center you can go through the <coughs> multiple options just like i'm going to open the controller control panel then network and internet click on sharing center go to the our network connection right click on that go to the properties ipv4 go to the properties so <coughs> here i am putting the ip address then subnet mask whatever we have i am going to remove the default gateway and now my previous uh, preferred dns is 127.0.0.1 so click on ok close now let me check ip con fig so yeah it's work we don't have any default gateway so ip configuration part is completed close that now i am going to configure reverse lookup zone in dns for the sql server always on availability group so we need the configuration for the reserve, uh, reverse lookup uh, zone in dns for that we go to the tools go to the tools go to dns so there is a name of VDI test three. Click on that. After that, open the reverse lookup zone folder. Right click on that. Launch a new wizard. There is a reverse. So new zone wizard. New zone wizard. Go to the next. So I'm just selecting the primary zone. Next, two. I'm selecting here two all DNS server running on the domain controller in the domain. Chirax dot in. So clicking here. So IPv4 we have. So click on next. Here I'll write the reverse lookup ten ninety three two five three. Okay. Go to the next. Here allow only the secure dynamic updates. So going to the next. So this is my review the setting. So this is my name. Active Directory Integrated Primary and this for the lookup type is reverse. Click on finish. So it shows the following reverse lookup zone as per the configuration. Okay, this part is completed. Now create an Active Directory user or assign the domain name permission for the SQL Server always on availability group. For that, I'm closing this one also, minimizing this. Right. Windows plus R go to the DSA dot MSC. Let me open. Yeah, it's working. This is my domain name. Click on that. 
to create a new ad server right click on the container in so user so right click on that new user new object user so create chirag dot in username so i am going going to put the ad admin initial i am not giving my full name is ad admin so user login type ad admin and click on next so i need the password so for the ad admin password i am going to write one more password for the ad admin ad admin putting something different so here i put a chirag at the rate one two three and i'm putting chirag one two three so for live uh, for the live demo you put the secure uh, secure password give me a second I'm putting the password never expired. Let's check. Let's leave it this. So this is my full name, ad admin. Login is the ad admin at the rest chirag dot in. Click on miss. Go to the users. Let me check. Ad admin is there. So Active Directory user, I'm going to, uh, going to add this one to Active Directory users. Double click on the Domain Admins. Domain Admins. Go to the member. Add. Click on there. Go to the next. I'm going to add this on ad admin here. So click on OK. OK. So now my ad admin is there. Add it here. So click on apply then. OK. So now one more thing. Add this user as an administrator in the all the three VMs. Add the user to the local administrator and VM and tools. <coughs> so the other domains, other VMs. So we have other VMs. Let me log in. Let's see. This one my own node one. Let me open the node two. Later on we'll just see this one. So next, so go through the domain controller only. I'm closing this one also. I have a password. So minimizing this. So now I'm going to add uh, a SQL server, uh, SQL node one and SQL node two in the domain for the SQL server always on availability group. Okay. So in this step, open the uh, network properties of this SQL uh, SQL node one. I'm going to open the SQL node one. I'm going to the network <coughs> adapter setting properties APV4. So I have a five removing the default gateway. Now my DNS will be changed here. So my DNS change will be. 127.0.0.1 okay. click on ok Close. same thing i'll do with the second one properties ipv4 
गेटवे रिमूव वन ट्वेंटी सेवन डॉट सॉरी टेन नाइन्टी थ्री टू फाइव थ्री डॉट सेवन we did a wrong thing i think uh, in the spell node one let me recheck that okay it won't be there 10 93 253 dot 7 now my dns server is this one so i'm connected with the both that both the things through dns server okay let me check that So now let me check the network configuration. So CMD IP config. Let me check that. So here we can see the DNS server name which also. Okay. So 1093, 253 and 7. So we can able to see that. Now I am going to add the SQL, uh, SQL node 1 in the uh, chirax.in domain. Okay. So in this step we join the PM. Oh, be before that let me check one more thing. And the server manager to the tools and computer management we can open both the way computer management groups administrator Okay. Later on, we will see this. Now I am in node 1. So add the node 1 into the <coughs> chirax.in domain for the SQL Server always join availability group. So we need to join this VM to the existing domain. So for the add domain into the domain, click on the server name of the server dashboard. Click on the computer name, click on change, give the computer name. So I'm giving I'm keeping the SQL Server Node 1. If you don't have the SQL Server Node 1, then keep the keep the name or give the name just as per your reference and go to the click on the domain. Here I'm going to keep the domain. Kirax.in, click on OK. I need the uh, username and password of the ad, ad admin. Ad admin, there's a password. 
click on ok welcome to the chirax.in <coughs> domain you must restart the apply these changes so click on ok click on close so now i'm going to restart the server file So same thing I have to do with the second node. So here also go to the local server, click on the domain name, change server name, domain here I am giving xerox.in, click on OK, ready admin, ready welcome to domain click on ok close restart now So now we uh, we can able to see this both the both the servers are uh, part of the our domain name server. Go to the local. See our group is our domain name. Okay. Let me check with the six one also. Yeah, Chirax .in. so <coughs> in this video we learn configure the domain name server active directory in the sql server alvajon availability group so we did that we required the do this server first we configure the our configure domain uh, domain controller and active directory then we added this both the server server 1 server 2 means uh, this both the ip in in same domain okay so Hope this video will help. In next video, we will go through the next part. Next, in next video, we, what we will learn? We will learn the failover cluster. So, we, we will configure the failover cluster for the, for the server. Hope this will help. Thank you for watching.